Well, I think, you know, the government's been uh, working away at uh, its due diligence before it releases the RFP, and I think we're practically complete that. So uh, I think you can anticipate that there will be a decision made on the release of the RFP soon. Uh, I can't say specifically because it hasn't uh, been decided by the minister and cabinet yet, and all, obviously it's up to them. But I think we're getting we're getting close. Can you explain why we're about ten months behind uh, the original schedule? Well, I think I think uh, one of the things that has been really important has been the land acquisition because uh, you know if you if we don't have if we're not confident that the land is going to be all acquired and we go ahead with the RFP, there are potential costs associated with that that the government of Canada is going to have to pick up. And I think we've had to do a fair bit of due diligence on that whole issue, which we've done. And I think we're pretty confident now and we've been assured by Michigan authorities, by the governor and by others, uh, that we will, they will be able to acquire the land. It's obviously out of our hands and so we need to be assured of that uh, before we release the RFP. And I think we're pretty confident now that that's going to happen. you have a completion date when you think the uh, No, well we can't announce a completion date until after the, the bidding is finished because that's part of the bidding process and so uh, you know it'll be completed when when the uh, when whoever wins wins the bid says it's going to be completed you, because they'll be uh, they'll be on a you know can you still make it to 2020 uh, I wouldn't want to predict on what date it's going to be complete